Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is David. And in this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to do a mullet. If you're curious on how to incorporate these trendy haircuts within your own haircuts, this tutorial is for you. All right, guys, I like to start off by using my one guard with the lever fully open. We're creating our guideline and you want to go up an inch. When doing mullets, it's kind of like you're doing a taper. The only difference, you're doing a high taper. Now that I have my guideline, it's time to clip her over comb. I always have my lever fully closed. Remember to always use the 45 degree angle when you clip her over comb. Guys, if you don't know how to clip her over comb, this helps cut your time in half. Now that we finished clipper over comb, I'm going to use my trimmer to create our bald guideline. Next, I'm using my Bronze Series 9 to give it that razor look. This helps your haircut stand out. Now that we have our guideline, it's time to blend it out. I always start off with my lever fully open and we're going up an inch. When doing mullets, you always want to go up a little bit higher to make it stand out. I have my lever fully closed now and we're only going up half an inch. Since we already went up an inch with the lever fully open, I move on to the blend guard, also known as the half guard with the lever fully closed and you want to go up half an inch little by little you want to open up the lever so you could blend out the line and now i have my lever fully open and we're going up half an inch after i'm done using my guards i move on to the clipper over comb to get rid of that weight that you see there i always clipper over comb with my lever fully closed and I'm just giving it that final touch that it needs. Now I'm using my trimmer to get rid of the bald line that we created. Now it's time to take off an inch from the top. That's what I did on the left side and we'll be doing that to the right side. When doing any type of scissor work, you want to create a guideline. That way you know how much to take off the top. I took an inch off from the left side and we'll be doing the same to the right side. Before we line them up, I always clip or overcomb the front just to get rid of the weight that's still there. I see a lot of barbers that don't do that. So when they're done doing the lineup, it doesn't look as sharp or crisp. Try this technique out guys on your next haircut. Let me know how it goes in the comments below. That's just a little tip and trick that I got for you guys. We move on to the most important detail in the whole haircut. Even if you have a fresh fade and the lineup isn't on point, it really isn't fresh. So make sure to always create a guideline in the middle so you can follow it to the left side and the right side. Always stand back to make sure the lineup is straight. Sometimes when you're too close, it looks straight and it's not. Just remember to take your time when doing the lineup. Every time I hand the mirror back to my client when I'm done with the haircut, they always look at the lineup first and then the haircut. So just take your time. hope you're enjoying this video if you do don't forget to drop a like and subscribe don't forget to turn on the notification bell to get notified whenever i drop a new video what haircut would you like to see next let me know in the comments below to all the barbers out there i hope you're learning some new techniques that you could add to your craft and i appreciate all your guys' support thank you Now it's time to line them up around the ear. 
Don't forget to always have a comb in hand so you can move the hairs away from the ear so you could give them a sharper lineup. If you want your haircut to stand out even more, try enhancing the lineup. This gives the lineup a way cleaner look. And this lasts about two to three days depending on how much you spray. But remember, you always want to keep it as natural as possible. Don't forget to use your straight blade. It takes less than five minutes, guys. And this really takes your haircut to the next level. Now that we're done with the haircut, it's time to style his hair. Normally with this type of hairstyle, I always like to use mousse because it gives it that wet look that I'm going for and it doesn't leave the hair as stiff as gel will. That's the end of our tutorial. You know what they say. Business in the front, party in the back. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell.